Once a good idea comes along that works, that people like, and that is thus successful in the marketplace, you typically see lots of cheaper copycat clones appearing. Some feel this is a good thing because they can get what they think is the same technology, but cheaper. However, the original technology is often patented, specifically to protect it from being effectively stolen by others, who didn't invest heavily and put the effort in the research and development that made that original idea work. The copycat clones are often poor imitations and don't actually work anything like as well as the original idea. People buy the more affordable, cheaper product, thinking it's the same thing, but come away feeling cheated and thinking the original idea is a useless gimmick. That original good idea thus ends up being unfairly tainted and underappreciated, and this comes to the detriment of not just the manufacturers, but to customers as well. This problem is particularly well demonstrated with bagless vacuum technology. The original idea for bagless technology was conceived and developed by Dyson. The company developed a new method of separating dirt from the air in vacuum cleaners that didn't rely on disposable bags and relied much less on filters. It never clogged when used as instructed, as shown to scientific levels of confidence, and less impressively, even in court cases. You just vacuumed and emptied the bin, and there were no additional maintenance running costs. It worked, was vastly superior to the old bag technology, and thus experienced meteoric rise in global market share. And this is where the problems start, and brings me back to my original point. Competitors, of course, try to jump on the popularity bandwagon to see if they could siphon off some of the green being generated. They couldn't use the technology though, because it was patented. Those that did apparently try to steal through shady tactics, for example Hoover, were destroyed in court. As such, competitors were left making cheap knockoffs and relying on marketing to fool potential customers into buying what are often suggested to be comparably performing products. But such products are not the same and don't perform the same. Many bagless vacuums are truly terrible. They don't separate dirt well, relying heavily on the filters which clog quickly and lose suction, they're a messy nightmare to empty and maintain, and generally perform much worse in formal testing and beyond that measures the overall experience of using a vacuum. People thus angrily and wrongly conclude that all bagless cleaners are awful and the old-fashioned bag technology was better. Dyson mastered and patented cyclonic bagless technology and have polished their products to extremely high standards. They formally demonstrate, often via independent testing to international standards in addition to their own, that their products are the best in class on the market and perform exactly as claimed and very much unlike the cheap copycat clones. People say Dyson vacuums are expensive because of a high one-off upfront cost, but if a typical user added up the cost of replacing all the short-life vacuums and each of their extra maintenance costs due to their poor design, over at least 10 years that Dyson would expect you to have one of their modern cleaners, they often work out considerably cheaper. People don't realise they're likely being gamed at times by manufacturers trying to make a fast buck and milk from someone else's good idea and success. Their model seems to be to issue a form of silent, cheap clone vacuum tax, where people cough up their money in more regular, smaller amounts whose increase in magnitude goes unnoticed, not much unlike the modern microtransaction model for electronic purchases. People would stand to benefit from the old saying, you get what you pay for from a reputable brand. It's often much better and cheaper longer term to save up and buy an officially confirmed high-end product that has had significant original research and development behind it and comes with objective test data showing its relative performance claims. It's for this reason why I personally favour Dyson. They meet that criteria, but I'd give attention to any company who objectively demonstrated they'd met those standards. In summary, Cheap copycat products that try to undercut a functional and original idea but end up underperforming can lead to people thinking that the original idea also doesn't work. This is simply not true, at least in the case of bagless vacuum cleaners.